Hi Crotoshis, my name is Victoria, I'm the social media contributor to CORE and welcome in another episode of CORE Academy. So one subject that's generated a lot of interest is the relatively new BRC20 protocol and that's what I'll be covering today. We'll define what the protocol is, how it works and what makes it possible. So let's get started. So what is the BRC20 standard? Not unlike Ordinal's BRC20 tokens are fungible tokens that operate according to the BRC20 standard. This standard was developed by analysts called Domo in early 2023, but some are Argue that you can trace the origins of BRC20 tokens to the major 2021 Taproot upgrade to the underlying Bitcoin network. BRC20 tokens are created on Bitcoin through JSON inscriptions made directly on Satoshis. In order to create a BRC20 token, you have to begin by creating a special field containing a script that defines important information about the token, such as its total supply, the symbol you use to designate it, and of course, its name. With that done, the last step is depositing a certain amount of Bitcoin into a special Ordinals registry Bitcoin address. Though there are similarities between BRC20 and ERC20 tokens, it's important to note that they are definitely not the same thing. Specifically, BRC20 tokens work on Bitcoin, whereas ERC20 tokens work on Ethereum. BRC20 tokens are created with JSON files, with ERC20 tokens are minted with Ethereum smart contracts, and BRC20 tokens are part of, but not identical to Bitcoin more generally. So a valid transaction might be accepted as part of Bitcoin's ledger, but rejected by the BRC20 protocol. So why is the BRC20 standard so important? There are a few reasons for that. The first, it's an obvious attempt to scale and augment Bitcoin's functionality. Many things of Bitcoin as being like digital gold, mostly because it is an ultra hard asset that enjoys renowned security and decentralization. Though this makes Bitcoin a dependable store of value, limitations with respect to transaction clearing speed, accessibility, interoperability, and so on, makes it difficult to use it as the basic monetary layer for decentralized finance. BRC20 tokens are by no means the full answer to this dilemma, but they do signal strong interest in the broader BTC5 project. The BRC20 tokens are relatively simple to create. Many protocols require a far greater investment of time and energy, and far more in the way of technical technical skill than BRC20s, which is a welcome change of pace. And because BRC20 is tied to the Bitcoin blockchain, tokens minted through the protocol are able to depend upon Bitcoin's legendary security. Given how rife the crypto assets space is with scams and fraud, this too is something we like to see. Finally, there are many potential use cases for BRC20 tokens. They could enable fast, low friction, peer-to-peer -peer trades between entities on the blockchain. They could open up whole new vistas for creating Bitcoin-backed DeFi projects such as exchanges. And like colored coins before them, BRC20 tokens could underwrite the tokenization of many off-chain assets such as precious metals, fine art, expensive collections of classic cars, or pretty much anything else. So to wrap up, though Bitcoin has a long stood solid ground in the constantly changing crypto assets domain, the truth is it has undergone a number of changes. BRC20 is one such amendment. And make it plain that there is interest into bridging DeFi to Bitcoin. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you learn a little bit about BRC20s and stay tuned for more episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.